What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are here with the lovely... I'm Nicole. Ramona and I went to school together, and we graduated together, and we were in the prom together. Went to AMDA, the American Musical Dramatic Academy. How did it feel when you graduated, and quickly, were like one of the first students to book a feature film? It was crazy. I was never, you know, the favorite, and so for me personally, that lit a fire under my butt that's like, well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna book jobs and so being able to book a movie with Netflix like literally not even one year after graduating blew my mind like I was prepared to be grinding and working for multiple years until I eventually booked something but to be able to book something that big that soon was like honestly a dream come true it just felt like all my hard work that I had been putting into growing myself and making myself a better artist and a better dancer it just came to fruition yeah. you know and it was just it was just really fulfilling how did it feel like when because we actually it's, it's actually really crazy we got to like audition and do everything pretty much at the same time I'm, like walking in you know just in my own little bubble gonna go audition and then I think it was in the holding room where I saw you I walk in and then I think I saw Nicole and I was like what when, and then Monroe walks in and then cut to us actually being there dancing cut to us actually all three of us getting booked how did how did that feel like that whole process for you like when you were did you have an idea where you were like oh dang I high key kind of got this in the back I don't know because at that point I had gotten so 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 many no's I had not gotten a single yes yeah. yet even for smaller things I hadn't been told yes yet and so that audition I didn't even really know like I know what the problem was like I knew the musical but, but I didn't really know the dancing and so I went into it just being like you know what like I'm just gonna have so much fun with this because it is a musical and just see where it goes I went in there I stood in the front and I was just living my life and like watching the choreographer and listening to his notes and like taking in his notes and just living my best life and just having the most fun honestly I had ever had in an audition like it was honestly one of the most fun auditions I've been to it was a lot of it was because everybody was just having so much fun so like, yeah, it was great. I love musical theater people. They're like, oh, they're the best. And then I remember leaving feeling like, oh, that was fun, but I'm probably not going to get that. And yeah. so the fact that I had gotten the call back to do like the reading and then eventually like I was not willing myself to say like, oh, I booked this job until I saw the email that said, congratulations, like you booked the job. Here's your contract. I was not letting myself say like, oh my God, I actually booked this until I saw that contract like in front of me. I went about it thinking I wasn't going to book it. And then ended up booking it so that was interesting <laughs> we had a teacher say that if you believe you deserve something then you're wrong because for example nicole and i were both in the room nicole and i both bust our butt period point blank so what makes me more deserving than nicole nothing we both equally deserve something which in return cancels it out so you should always kind of have that mindset of like well if i book it i will literally fly to the moon and be so happy and if i don't i don't even remember because i already pushed it to the back of my mind i'm already going forward it's it's hard especially when it's things that you really 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 want because I remember leaving the audition and being like ah, ah it felt so good oh I want it so bad but then we had to like but we don't know we don't know we don't know anything for all I know they could have been like wow they were really good too short too tall <laughs> how does it feel to not only have booked a feature film but to have booked a feature film that is so relevant in today's news and is so impactful and drives the the like society instead of going this way literally like comes in and kicks it to the right so that it can have some sort of a change how does it feel to know that you're a part of something that culturally is going to be very wild everybody deserves to have equality and just like the same chances as everybody else and so this movie where it's a huge feature film with a healthy loving gay relationship like i felt ecstatic that I could be a part of something, you know, I hope will cause good chain reactions for little girls who are feeling homosexual, sexuality, like, you know, who are feeling those things can look at them on the screen and be like, this is okay. Like, this is okay for me to feel because they're going to the prom together. And it's not, you know, something that is shunned or something that should be taken as like, oh, you know, like, what the heck? Like, people are accepting of this. There's a moment 
in the film where we got to watch Kerry Washington act and it was a very heavy moment in the film just being able to be there and witness that and hear that and like see everybody else's reaction because everybody who was watching that scene had genuine reactions to what was going on and so being able I think that was like one of the moments where I was like oh my god this is gonna really impact so many people in a positive way just like normalizing normalizing everything that has to do with the LGBTQ community just normalizing it it needs to be normalized more and I think this film will give it a really really great step in the right direction I also really like the way it was written and directed because it wasn't depicted in like an overtly sexual manner it wasn't depicted like stereotypically like it wasn't like here's the two hot lesbians even though they're both beautiful don't get it twisted it was these two girls these two beautiful girls in high school that just want to dance that's literally it that's like that's really the only that's like the overlying message they again and again say i just want to dance with you that's it that's all we want to do as someone that is gay identifies as identifies as gay i remember what it was like like in my middle school dances or my high school dances and like really being like oh i want to dance with that guy because like i was like crushing on a guy or something and i remember being like oh no i can't i can't this is so weird so blah, 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 whatever the excuse was to now know that there will be a whole generation of kids that grow up watching what i wished i could have seen and being like oh this is fine this is fine so now like they can go and have those experiences unlike i was able to which is beautiful to know that someone is gonna be like oh that this isn't weird this is normal to wrap it all up final question we have been given a great opportunity to study at the place that we have studied to go fully through to like do everything to get to where we are now we are aware that that's a huge privilege well yeah that's a privilege it's a privilege to study the way that we did however it is not the only way period point blank so what would you suggest to someone that is either your age and or younger that is wanting to go into this industry but is like well i don't have the training i don't have the knowledge like i can't i can't do it getting extra training was helpful but it didn't result in me getting a job. The thing that really helped is just knowing people, making those connections, forming those relationships with people. And so I think if you feel like, oh, I can't really afford to go to college, like I can't pay that much money to just like go dance at a school. Honestly, I would take class, just take class, meet people, form lots of relationships, and you can still have just as fulfilling a career than if you went to school. I think school is just a way for people who might not feel super ready to get a little more comfortable with what the industry is gonna be like. It's not the end all, all be all though. There are a ridiculous amount of dancers who are consistently booking who have never went to school for dance. They just went and they did it so i think with enough determination and enough perseverance and enough resilience like anybody can do it it just takes a lot of hard work well guys that was basically it i hope you guys enjoyed catching up with us and listening about the prom and these are always it's always a joy to catch up with anything about the prom especially with nicole Robert. nicole do you want to like Get your social. I mainly just use Instagram, so it's just Nicole.a.rush. Check her out, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow.